Hey there, Rocky Trail Racers. This is your rider brief for the Mount Buller Academy, part of the Alpen Flow Festival, um, right here in Mount Buller. Uh, schools event uh, targeted for uh, high school kids, and uh, we can't wait to have you all up here and racing. Um, give you a little break- breakdown of how the day's going to go. Going to tell you about the, about the tracks. Going to remind you of some COVID rules, and uh, yeah, we're going to have a great time. Um, can't wait. Registration's still open, by the way, just in case. Um, just down there, you'll drive up the road. You'll see a giant Shimano arch. Um, turn left at the turn left there. Go around the back of the ski centre. You'll see the bike shop there. Walk into the village square, right under the clock tower. That's where registration is. Go and see Joe. Get yourself registered. Um, speaking of registrations, um, for COVID reasons, we need everybody turning up to register with Joe. Um, so all spectators, all parents, and all teachers um, who might be supporting riders need to see Joe in that clock tower. Um, very easy, you'll get a number plate. We'll do a brief rider brief. Um, it'll be very quick. Um, we're gonna do things slightly differently this, this uh, uh, academy. We're gonna ride together for the first lap. So we're gonna do all three tracks together um, we've got some great guys to ride with um, Martin Visada who's uh, 11 times croc trophy uh, competitor and a very good rider Graham Sonder who is our course guru um, they'll be guiding you guys down the first tr- time on each of the tracks start at the top of the hill we'll do the fox track then the stands then the laser and then bring you back to the village after that it's your adventure. You can do any of the tracks again in any order you want. Okay, let's run through the tracks. The Fox track um, from the event hub will ride up the mall onto Summit Road. We're going to be very careful on Summit Road because there is still traffic. We're going to base traffic rules, which means staying over to the left, obviously, um, and uh, not riding in bunches, and um, then near the top of the hill we cross the road again safely um, over to the start of copperhead Um, copperhead is the fox track we ride down that it's the technical track so it's got a couple of little rocky drops couple of little loose rocky corners Um, then uh, the winner of that will be the person who's got the best technical skills and you can stay right on the edge for the longest Um, that will finish. It doesn't use the whole of Copperhead. It stops just below the RMB building. It's all signed up, um, so you can't miss the end. Um, roll on out, up through the Skills Park, back to the event hub at the uh, at the Village Square. Uh, then we ride across to the Stands Track. The Stands Track is just opposite, adjacent the uh, the Village Square. You drop in to the family trail, you pedal along the flat section of the family trail before you punch up into Soul Revival, then over the top of One Tree Hill, then down the other side, and uh, that's the Stands track. It finishes just next to, uh, I think it's called Goalpost Lane. Um, uh, the winner on that track will be the person who can maintain their speed and, and pedal through a couple of little technical sections um, and and yeah, has has the best endurance. Um, then right opposite the finish of that track is the start of our laser track. The laser track is Gang Gangs. Gang Gangs is a great little flowy section. It has some rocky sections, so it's not completely without any technical, but it's great fun. You maintain your speed down there. It flows all the way. You don't need to put a single pedal stroke in. Get down to... Um, the Cornhill Road, um, then we'll turn you around, that's where it finishes, we'll turn you around and you ride back up Split Rock, back up Split Rock to onto Family Trail and then a little bit of time along to Family Trail, there'll be you'll be running beside the race course down, uh, the stands course, so um, be a bit careful there, there'll be bollards to make sure you stay on the left hand side and then cross carefully when it's safe, ride back up to the event village and that's, that's one lap. Um, you don't have to do them in order. You can do them in any order. Once you've done it once with Martin and Graham, um, then you can ride at your own, whichever track you want. Um, go and hit them up as many times as you want. Up to five will be timed, um, and your best one counts. Uh, let's run through how the event goes. 
So everybody who does a timed gets a timed run gets one point. Doesn't matter if you do if you do five timed runs, you still only get one one best run. Um, so you get one point per track. If you win, you get more points. You get bonus points for being the best on that track. And the bonus points go to your school. The school with the most number of points at the end of the day will be the champion school. It's very simple. Uh, all those regs are online. Um, let's go COVID. Um, I mentioned earlier we've got to make sure everybody's checked in. Um, we also need to make sure we just follow those simple rules. A little bit of social distancing um, and uh, wash your hands regularly. Also, if you're sick, obviously we'll give you uh, your entries back. Don't turn up. We don't want to see you if you're ill. Um, even though it's very unlikely you'll have COVID, we'd just rather not take the risk. Um, that's pretty much it else. So um, if you're coming up Thursday to rate, be ready to race on Friday, um, tonight the Karua Hotel is open for dinner, um, but you must book. Um, other than that, we'll have coffees available, we'll have food available at Karua and at the bike shed. There's a bike shop up here. Uh, all train cycles go see shannon if you need anything um, he's also a great coach so if you guys are looking for some additional coaching go see shannon um, and talk to him about what he can do for you um, we'd like to thank mount buller that's been great working with them we can't wait to have more academies in the mountains um, yeah see you racing see you friday entries are still open so if you know anyone who still might be interested get them in um, it's going to be a great day can't wait Woo!